Before being diagnosed with SCAD, I was a teacher. It was my dream career. I had just recently been qualified. We had lots of plans for the future. My husband and I were talking about potentially moving abroad. However, having been diagnosed with heart failure, it just totally changed my life. I was in my second trimester when I started to feel ill. I was getting migraines and was really, really exhausted. Every time I spoke to my midwife, I was made to feel like I was a nuisance. I was made to feel quite silly. So I went to see my GP. Thankfully, he listened to me and he signed me off work at 32 weeks. I was due to have a caesarean section and when I was booked in to have it, uh, my heart rate was really, really high. And there was talk of possibly not doing the caesarean section, but thankfully they were able to stabilise me and I had on. I was sitting in the living room, just relaxing, breastfeeding him, and all of a sudden I started to get the pain in my ear and in my jaw. I felt quite nauseous. I had a funny feeling when I was breathing. And the GP told me I was having panic attacks. A couple of days later, we went out for a family walk, just really, really leisurely, and the symptoms started again. There's just something not quite right. It's not a panic attack. I know it's not a panic attack. So I went to the maternity ward and the doctor that I saw there, she had a gut instinct that there just was something untoward, but she couldn't put her finger on it. So she said, I'm going to admit you for the night. I was very, very glad they did because during the night I had another episode. So they transferred me over to the cardiac ward with my, I had my 11 day old, 12 day old baby with me. A lovely young doctor came in and I said that he needed to put me on clopidogrel, which is a blood thinner and that I was going to have to stop breastfeeding. Obviously not realising the extent of what was happening, I sort of laughed and was like, no, no, I breastfeed my babies. And I was breastfeeding, looking down at him, and then the symptoms came back again, but felt worse. So pressed the buzzer, the nurse came in, put me on an ECG, and then she literally pressed the lights, the blue, the alarm, and every doctor that was on the ward came rushing in. That was when they told me I was having huge heart attacks. And if I had been sent home, that day that I went to the hospital, I would have had the huge heart attacks at home and I probably wouldn't be here today. There happened to be a medic there who had read about SCAD and he said, look, I think I have an idea of what this is. It was at that stage that they decided that bypass surgery was the option. Just as they were about to operate, the LAD, which is also known as the Widowmaker, dissected right in front of them. and. Yeah, they very nearly lost me. Went off to ICU afterwards and they didn't think that I was going to make it through the night because my heart had failed so much. So I have a huge chunk of the bottom of my heart that actually doesn't beat anymore. And the problem that causes is that the rest of the heart has to overcompensate. I would not be able to work again, never mind teach. So at the age of 35, after my maternity leave had finished, I was medically retired. SCAD changes you physically, but it also chips away at your mental health. It chips away at the person you were. You know, you're afraid of your your body. You're, you don't know what your limitations are. It's, it's hard even nearly 11 years later. You know, it's still very, very hard to accept. It was the career, but also the financial security that has been taken away from us. My advice to anybody else who just does not feel right is just to keep pushing to speak to doctors. Make sure you get your blood checked, having that confidence to say, no, I don't think this is indigestion or no, I don't think this is a panic attack and be willing to challenge it. It's hard, but I wish that I'd pushed back in those early days when I had symptoms. And I do often wonder if somebody had listened to me, listened to the fact that I just didn't feel right. You know, could my life have not been as impacted as badly as it is now?